Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. We're having a great week. Three days, three separate winners. Uh, you might see who won yesterday's show when we look along the line, because he's wearing his prize. Uh, somebody tomorrow, who knows who it's going to be, is going to win this trophy right here. Our players this week are Kevin Clifton, <laughs> Kima Bob, Victoria Derbyshire, and JJ Chalmers. Three days, three different winners. Wow. There's four of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, JJ, <laughs> we find ourselves in the position where everyone's won apart from you. What are we going to do about that? Today is moving day. I'm going to get myself right in amongst the mix for double points tomorrow. Mm. But yeah, it's not. But it, it has been noticed that Kevin sat over there in his prize. Yeah, expect Kima that. to get her decanter out at any second. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, drunk, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pull your cricket bat out as well. Just yeah. to rub it in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> JJ, the, the, the nation is on your side uh, on this. I hope one. that's the case. I'm mm. sure it is the case. Now, Victoria, you won on Monday. Shall we take a look at the weekly leaderboard? Now, Kevin has 10. You've got nine, though, but everybody's still in this. Mm. Um, how are you feeling? Is it, is it time for a second victory? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, see, let's see what happens. That's the difference between a sports person and a non-sports person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe. And yeah. JJ's like, yeah, I think the thing uh, is, <laughs> yeah. it's moving day. Yeah, um, yeah. That's the thing. It's all about momentum. Uh, Victoria quite rightly said, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, what happens? Lovely win for you uh, as well today and Double Points Friday as well. Is a bit of you thinking you could win this trophy? Take the trophy back to America? If I win this, I will get a Richard Osman tattoo on my forehead. On your forehead? Wow. How yep. lovely. And if, if you win the whole thing, I'll get a Kima Bob tattoo on my forehead. Deal. Well, yeah, done. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, talking of winning, though, Kevin, if you were to win again today, we see you with your prize there, the hoodie. Bit of comfortable? Yes. Very good. Yes, I'm, I'm relaxing in the, the comfort of my achievements. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, these are today's prizes, though. Uh, you could be taking home uh, the wheelie luggage belt, <laughs> the hairbrushes and bad prizes today, <laughs> some of them, the watering can and the shower curtain. Mm. Um, what do we think? Oh, I like that luggage to go with the jumper. It's good <laughs> luggage. So yeah. go luggage, Kima. Wow, I'm trying to be a better plant mama, so that watering can. Beautiful. Mm. Victoria? I'd go luggage or watering can. Luggage or watering yeah. can. JJ? Same. Shall we get straight on and play our first round? Yeah. Okay, good <laughs> luck. One and all, our first round today is... <laughs> Sorry, wrong number. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. All of the questions will have a number somewhere in the answer, but I need you to do something to that number before you give me the answer. And the first thing I need you to do is this. So subtract three from any number in the answer. OK? Here's your first question. Prince's 1983 hit single about partying like it's the end of the world. Yes, JJ. So, 1980. Oh, I jumped in too fast. It, you really have, yeah. Sorry, I got so excited. Uh, is it incorrect? Not 19... <laughs> Victoria. Oh, 1999. Uh, is incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, need to subtract. Oh, stop. Hi! Poor Kim. you think a Prince question? Come on, I Kevin. No. 1996. Is it 1996? <laughs> Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, 1999. <laughs> 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 oh, I just realised what you're supposed to do. Yeah, okay. oh, I did as well. I've and just understood what we're meant to do now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> this, uh, so, question two. Subtract three from this, please. Theory on links between people that inspired a game about Kevin Bacon. Kima. Three degrees of separation. Point to Kima, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well played. Subtract three from this, please. Millie Bobby Brown's character in Stranger Things. Yes, Victoria. Oh. Eight. Is it eight? It is eight. Well done, yeah. Victoria. <laughs> okay, let's forget subtracting three for now. Uh, what I want you to do for the following answers is this. I want you to multiply by ten. Here's your first one. <laughs> Tudor King and father of Elizabeth I. <laughs> yes, Kima. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Henry, <laughs> Henry of, of the 80th. <laughs> Henry the 80th is yeah. the right answer. 
go. Well done. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh, well done, Kima. <laughs> Henry VIII becomes Henry the Eightieth. I tell you what, sometimes it pays off only knowing one English king, doesn't it? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your next question. What is the title of this song? Not into fashion, but I love the clothes she wears. Her tattoos always hit her by her underwear. She don't care. Everybody wants to know her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do no one have an answer. The members of the fire sitting um, Yes, Kima. 170? <laughs> <laughs> it's not 170. Uh, JJ. 50 colours in her hair. 50 colours in her hair? It's the right answer. Well wow. done, McFly. Five colours in her hair. Become Come on, 50 JJ. 50 colours in her hair. Yeah, nice to play, JJ. Uh, one more. Multiply by 10 now. US sitcom in which Ashton Kutcher plays billionaire Warden Schmidt. Yes, JJ. 25 men. Well done. Two and a half men nice becomes 25 time. men. Oh, well played. Uh, let's forget about multiplying by 10 now. And the next thing I need you to do is add 15. 1995 Ron Howard film in which Tom Hanks plays the astronaut Jim Lovell. Yes, JJ. Apollo 28. Apollo 28. He means business, yeah. doesn't he, yeah. David? He's on it. He's on it. Someone's come to play. Whoa. Final question in this round. Add 15 to this. Chart topper without a follow-up to initial success, such as Gautier in 2012. <gasps> yes, Victoria. 16 hit wonder. 16 hit wonder. Well done. <laughs> and a good gasp for Bomb Buzzing as well. Yeah. yeah. That is the end of that round. It's quite fun, that round. Yeah, it? good. Right. Bit of general yeah. knowledge, bit of maths. Uh, and talking of maths, let's take a look at our first leaderboard, shall we? JJ, the only Whoa. man without a win, is currently leading with three points. JJ Chalmers, well done. <laughs> round two today is... Totes Emoji. Now, before the show, you did some homework. You sent me the name of a musical film, but using just emojis, OK? We're now going to play a pairs game where you have to guess your partner's film. Uh, Kevin, you're in last place, so you get to choose your partner. Who would you like to play with? Let's go with Kim. Same with oh, Kim. Kevin! <laughs> oh, you can't believe it. so much, Kevin! <laughs> Kim, I can't believe it. That's oh, what a shock. Uh, Kim and Kevin are a team, which means Victoria and JJ are a team. Kevin, before the show... Yes. Kima sent me uh, the name of a musical film. She was only allowed to use emojis, though. Mm. Which musical film is this, please? Wow. Wow. I mean, it looks like it's on your specialist subject. Yeah. Um... Now, I have to say... Well, uh, well you can say after. <laughs> OK. <laughs> We're just... OK. Your, your emoji work is... Well, speak for itself, okay. just for a moment. All right, I'll let my art speak for itself. I'm not sure, but I'm going to take a stab at it. I don't know. It's not West Side Story, is it? Is it West Side Story, Kima? I love the last emoji, by the way, a film that, that ends. <laughs> yeah, and that, and that was... <laughs> um, Kima, why right. don't you talk us through your Wait, thinking then, and then tell us what the answer was. <laughs> OK, so, like, there's, like, a fun lady, and she's, like, having a good time. She's, like, going out and stuff, and she's, like, having interactions with multiple gentlemen, and now she has a baby. And oh. she's like, "Who? who's the father of this baby? Oh. Oh. Mamma Mia. Yes! Oh, oh. oh wow. It, it looked like two oh, gangs. So and what's the, the end? end is, whose baby is it? Yeah! yeah. That, of course it's the whose baby is it. Who's, whose baby oh, wow. is it? Well done. <laughs> yes. hey, yeah. Who's my dad? Mamma Mia, well done if you got that one at home. Some people would have got it at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Always happens. Um, Victoria, before the show, JJ sent me the name of a musical film. Okay. Uh, he was only allowed to use emojis, and these are the emojis he used. Oh, OK. Have you got uh, that one at home? Singing in the Rain. Singing in the Rain, yeah. JJ? Singing in Absolutely. the Rain. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of signifying singing there. Yeah. yeah. Three singings in a rain. Doesn't singing in the rain might be slightly easier to spell out in emojis than Mamma Mia? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kima, before the show, Kevin sent me the name of a musical film, OK? You've got to guess uh. what it is uh, by deciphering these emojis. Oh, two mm -hmm. of the same emojis from last time. Mm-hmm. Seems like we might be dealing with some uh, some Saturday Night Fever. <gasps> oh, well done. Oh, well oh, played. That's, that's brilliant. Fever. Yeah, very, very, very good. Very good. Very good. Nice. Yeah. Beautifully done, Kevin and Kima. JJ, Victoria sent me the following emojis. Huh. Uh, listen to the music. The sound of music. Yay! Very well good. done. Sound of music. Yeah. Very, very good. Well played. <laughs> That's the end of our emojis round. Let's take a look at what it's done to the scores on what they're calling JJ Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that, two, three, four, five. Oh, That's the way wow. I like to see it. JJ in the lead with five points. Well done. Loving that. Very kind of you. Uh, third round today is... The backwards round. Now, in this round, I read out the questions backwards. You have to give me the answer backwards as well. <laughs> so if I asked your name, you would say Clifton Kevin. Everybody ready? Buzzers on fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> People M group the of singer lead the is who? JJ. Small Heather. Heather Small, absolutely right. Uh, question two. Jinx and Jasper called originally were duo mouse and cat animated which? Kima. Jerry and Tom. Tom and Jerry becomes Jerry and Tom. Take team up. Question next. Song this of title the is what? <laughs> Victoria. Deliver. And stand. Oh, it's not called that, is it? Correct. It is not. It's not. Deliver, no, it's not. It's, it's uh, anyone fancy it? I haven't got a clue. It's Adam oh, it's, it's charming uh, prince. Prince charming. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Charming. How annoying. Everyone else is a tiny bit younger than us, Victoria. So they're like, what on earth are they talking? About? <laughs> <laughs> I know all the words to that song. Yeah, me too. Backwards. Don't you ever stop me, Dandy? Showing me you're handsome. Question next. Insects of size the to reduce teenagers for are Phil Moranis Rick, which in? Yes, Kima, oh. good luck. Kids. The. Shrunk. I, honey. Correct answer. Ooh. It's the shrunk line, honey. <laughs> It's fun to say, isn't it? Yeah. Question next. Song this of title the is what? <laughs> Victoria. You knowing, me knowing. Let's have a listen, light way round. Knowing me knowing. Well played, Victoria. <laughs> knowing me knowing you becomes you knowing me knowing. Uh, question next. Rainbow the of colours the recalling for use commonly is roses the of wars the of figure major a two refers the mnemonic which good luck Kima oh no okay yeah the I B oh, okay sorry they're looking for the words in that mnemonic oh. oh. JJ's going for it. Uh, Every point crucial. Vein, in, battle, gain, <laughs> York, of Richard. Correct answer. Wow. Well done, JJ. Oh, that 
is a man who wants a win. Defo. That is terrifying. <laughs> very, <laughs> very well played, says, says the former Marine. Mm. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at the scores. Has JJ stayed in the lead after that? He yeah. has indeed. Kevin, yesterday's winner, you've got two, Kima and Victoria. The winners on the first two days, five each. Yet to win, but with a two-point lead, JJ Chalmers. Oh, <laughs> embarrassed in this Thank now. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin just said he's starting to feel embarrassed in his jumper now. <laughs> I feel a bit silly. That's how it gets you, man. You get so happy. I'm you feel right jumper. on that high. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> Let's play round four straight away, shall we? It is... I'm terrible at dating. If you take your tablets out, please. Mm. Uh, I'm going to give you a series of events from world history. You just have to tell me the year in which they happen, oh, please. No. And whoever gets closest will score themselves a point. The first thing I'd like you to uh, have a little stab at, please, is this. The Turner Prize is awarded for the first time. When was the Turner Prize awarded for the first time? Hmm. Hmm. What do you think at home on this one, Turner Prize? Um... Uh, Kevin, what was your thinking here? I've absolutely no idea, just complete wild guess. Mm. So, I went 1964. Doesn't sound crazy, well, that... great, great number. Uh, Kima, what yeah. have you gone for? I feel good about this, you know? I don't, I don't really know what the Turner Prize is or what happened in the 50s, so I decided to combine that lack of knowledge. <laughs> 1956, <laughs> hello. Uh, yeah. And then two bits of ignorance make a yeah, blinding insight. exactly. Could be, could be right. Victoria, do you have any clue on this? No clue, it's a guess. Lovely. I'm not far from Kevin. I can't. Actually, I'm not far from Kima either, actually. Yeah, 1967, you're saying? So 64 and 67 and 56. JJ. Yeah, you've asked us to write a number and I've written a number. Yeah. Wow. Which is 1970. 1970, year of my birth. So, what do you think at home here? <laughs> when was the Turner Prize awarded for the first time? Who scored a point? Oh, 84. Wow. JJ, yeah. JJ. Yeah, you get the point. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm mere 40 years out. That? Not sure. Oh my uh, well played, well I'll tell you what, JJ, when it's your day, it's your day. Yeah, uh, it really you is. Uh, next question. I wonder if you could write me down a year for this, please. The birth of Guru Nanak, the founder of Sikhism. Hmm. Oh. What do you think at home, Guru Nanak? When was Guru Nanak born? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. Apologies <laughs> yeah. from all of us. Absolutely. It's a disgraceful we, lack we, we of knowledge. We just don't know. Uh, just waiting for Kevin and JJ? <laughs> Stop the vote. No Stop idea. the count. I've yeah. just written a random number. <laughs> OK, we're in. Um, Kima. Great. Um, random answer? Or...? He came to the expert. Um, I picked 1725 because I feel like Sikhism is not super, super old. Yeah, that's why I made my guess. Okay. Also, it very well could be super, super old. <laughs> okay, thank you. 1725 says Kima. Victoria, what are you saying? Earlier, later? I really don't know. I just, 800, I just yeah. I wrote a number. I, I, think, I, think, I think we find ourselves in the position where none of us yeah. 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 is speaking with any authority. No. Yeah. <laughs> Put it that way. Mm. JJ. Did you say 800? Mm. Hmm. For 805. Mm. No. Mm. Oh, is... interesting. No. Interesting. Well, and if it's 803. This is really wow. weird. Because I went 850. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Wow. So 800, 805, 850, and then 1725. I think. I'm like, like it's, it's brand new. It's very fresh. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you think at home on this one? Uh, where are you on this? The answer is. 1469, Kima. You got um, I was trying to do the math. I was like, is that closer to me? That is, well 256 done. years out. That'll do you, though. Nice. It? Very, very well done. If you got closer at home, nicely done. Point for Kima. Next question. Greenwich Mean Time becomes the legal standard time across Britain. Mm. Mm. That feels like, surely that's forever? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to work out what would have made it become that, if you know what I mean, and what, yeah. what it was before. I've got one tiny fact in my brain which might help me a tiny bit on this. I'm very Which is very rare yeah. on a question like this. <laughs> I know, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you my answer. 
Greenwich Mean Time becomes a legal standard time across Britain. When was that? Everybody is in. What do you think at home on this one? Victoria, uh, do you have anything to help you or...? I, I was, no, I don't. I was trying to think of when somebody invented something, but I couldn't, mm. I couldn't. So I just put 1926. 1926. JJ, what are you saying? I don't think 1850 doesn't sound unreasonable. That doesn't but, either. Um, but... Can I tell you the fact that I was thinking yes, in my please. head? I read somewhere when the trains came in, that's when the whole of Britain had to be on the same time. So the train oh, timetables yeah. worked. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Kevin, what have you said? Hmm. Um, lucky for me that the, the first trains were around in 1780. 1780. <laughs> mm. Never know. Well, they're steam engines. Mm. There you go. Mm. You know, 1780 and Kima. I wanted to do something fun and funky. <laughs> <laughs> 1978. That is fun, Kima. 1978. Which, which <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's take a look, shall we? When did Greenwich Mean Time become standard time across the UK? What do you think at home and who in the studio has won a point? 1880, well, JJ. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very nicely played. Final question in this round. I wonder if you can write me down a year for this, please. The world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, is launched. World's first artificial satellite is launched. Artificial satellite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because moons and things are yeah. satellites. Everybody is in. JJ, what were you thinking? I believe JFK said that we would land astronauts on the moon within this century, which was 1969 when we landed it. So he said that in sort of 1960-ish. Mm. So that was in response to the Russians putting up Sputnik. Oh, I know. So I think it was about 1958. 58. Well yeah, 50s feels. OK. Yeah, I'm way space out. Space racy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, Kevin, okay, none of that will be true. What have you expected? <laughs> but it sounded amazing. It did. Uh, Kevin, what have you said? I went for 1958. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Uh, How about that? I changed it from... Oh. That's wow. impressive. That is quite <laughs> something. Kima, mm. what are you saying? If America went to the moon in 69 and Sputnik might have been the first thing to go out, then it would have taken a while to get from that to that, so I picked 54. 54, mm. so we're all in the 50s. We're in the mix. Uh, Victoria, are you in the 50s? No, I'm, I'm really way out. 1979, just it's after funky. they changed the Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> 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 Which is what allowed them to do that. What a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. The following year. Uh, OK, let's take a look. Is it in the 50s? What do you think at home on this one, Sputnik? Uh, and who has scored the point? 57. Oh. Evan and JJ. Oh. Wow. wow. One year out. Congratulations. Well, point eight. Well done. Uh, tap this away, please, as we play our final round on Thursday's House of Games. Why? Who's going to win on Thursday? Are we going to have... Four different winners from four shows. It happens very, very, very rarely. Let's take a little look at the score, shall we, before Answer Smash? I mean, the dream is on, is all I'm going to say. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Kevin three, Victoria on, five, Kima has six. <laughs> JJ, listen, two ways to look at this, OK? Real, a big chance now. Yeah. To be the champion, okay? It'll be the fourth champion. Do you think I could just not answer anything and write it out? It's possible. And not risk. It is possible. Wrong? Listen, I mean, it certainly sounds like the words huh. of, 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 of a former Marine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I uh, wouldn't do that, JJ. <laughs> I wouldn't sit back, JJ. I will not be sitting back. Uh, but for sure, you would not want to blow a four point lead. They have been blown before four point leads. We've seen a six point lead go before. Wow. The final round, okay? Wow. Uh, but we wish you luck. Our final round, of course, is. <laughs> Answer smash. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer as well. How is JJ going to play this? Real test of the man, uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, I'll, test a, I'll test a character. Mm. Um, <laughs> here we go. Your first category is... Eurovision X. Oh. Eurovision X. Good luck, Kima. I know. Um, those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above them. Smash them together, please. Winners of which reality TV show include Brian Bellow, Craig Phillips and Kate Lawler? <laughs> Victoria. Big Brotherhood of Man. Big Brotherhood of Man. Well played, well played Victoria. Well played. Oh. Absolutely right. Well played. Here's your next clue in your next Eurovision act. 
Lake Titicaca is located on the border of Peru and which other South American country? Yes, Victoria. Bolivia, Newton-John. Oh, oh, wow. That's a nice yeah. one. Bolivia, Newton-John is the lovely answer. <laughs> Olivia and Olivia, Newton-John. Uh, here's your next category. Sea creatures. Those will be the pictures. What does the abbreviation BFG stand for in the title of a Roald Dahl book? JJ. Big friendly giant squid. Oh, Big well, friendly well. giant squid. Well done. Ah, yes. well, done. well done. Big friendly giant and giant squid. We'll play JJ. Next clue, next sea creature. Which 18th century Russian leader was born Sophie Friedrich August, daughter of a German prince? You got this at home? Shall I tell you? Catherine the Great, Great White Shark. Oh, wow. oh. Catherine the oh, Great and Great White Shark. list of Russian leaders. Yes. Uh, here's your next one. Which UK number one for Smokey Robinson and the Miracles was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2002? Yes, Tears Kima. of a Clownfish. Oh, Tears yeah, of a yeah. Clownfish? Oh, wow. Well Brilliant. played, Kima. The Tears of a Clown and Clownfish. Next category. Yeah. I mean, sure. Ooh, I sure, I mean. I mean. Sure. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> is it me? Is Have it... I? <laughs> did, I catch up? did I catch up? Did the, did the hoodie do it? <laughs> 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 Let's find out, Kevin, shall we? Victoria, you've had a win. Kima, you've had a win. Oof. Kevin, looks to me like maybe you've had a win as well. <laughs> Who has won on the day they call JJ Thursdays? <laughs> it is... <laughs> JJ Thomas. Well done, JJ. Uh, <laughs> what support? What the support? Relief, I couldn't have done it without you guys. The relief. Four <sighs> different winners in four days. Wow. It happens so rarely. Four that, different prizes yeah. given away to four different people. JJ, what would you like to take? <sighs> It's going to have to be the, the, the suitcase. Oh, yeah. beautiful. The <laughs> oh, I cannot wait JJ to go to place. Congratulations, yeah. JJ. <laughs> now, listen, we've got one day to go. Wow. We've been together all week. It. You have one more to go. Often someone's got a big lead going into that final day. And that's why we have double points Friday, just to you know, give extra yeah. jeopardy. Mm. I think we need double points, because let's take a look at the, uh, the weekly leaderboards with one day to go. Wow. 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 9, 10, wow. 11, 12. That's mad. It's a TV trope to say anyone could win, and it's rarely true. Yeah. Mm. It happens to be true on this occasion. <laughs> Gosh. Because tomorrow is eight points for a win, six for second, four for third, two for last place. So any one of the four of you could still leave with this trophy. Uh, congratulations, JJ. Well done. Thank it's you. a well-earned victory and lovely to see as well. And it is going to be an amazing final. That we know for sure. <laughs> I'll see yeah. all of you here tomorrow for the final. Cool. We'll see all of you here as well, I suspect, for the final of House of Games. My face or your face? Oh, it could, let's again. have a look. Let's have a look. This is perfect. Oh yeah. I mean, perfect. that is the problem. People are going to be. He's literally put his own face. Are <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll tell you who's really up himself these days. JJ Chalmers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>